Hi, this is Gemma from Catholic Playground and today we're going to make Catholic coasters. We've been having some fun lately making coasters, resin coasters, and we thought it would be fun to make some Catholic coasters. We'll be using an old prayer card and some old rosaries and medals that we found. Uh, you can get resin at your craft store. Just follow the instructions for preparing it. Uh, we bought the coasters, the mold, um, specifically from a resin website. Um, this, so this is a specific coaster that will work with resin. We haven't sprayed it or anything um, because they pop out pretty easily from these molds. Um, they're flexible and you should be able to reuse them too. So prepare the resin according to the packages, packages instructions and I'm just gonna pour in we're gonna pour in a light coat. You don't want it too thick because the resin won't set up properly. You want just a thin coat and you can come back later and add more. So we're going to pour that in to the mold. Make sure it reaches all the edges. You can use a wooden stick or a plastic stick kind of spread it around. It will, it tends to set up pretty quickly, so I want to work as quickly as possible once you've prepared your resin. Once you have that first that first thin coat in, then you just want to let it sit for a few minutes, That any bubbles that formed when you were mixing your resin will kind of rise to the top. So we'll come back in a couple minutes and get rid of the bubbles. Okay, so we've let our resin sit for a few minutes and it looks like most of the bubbles have come to the top. There's a couple different ways you can pop the bubbles. You can actually use a lighter and kind of get close to your resin and let the bubbles pop or you can just blow on it. Um, we're going to use a straw and just kind of blow across the surface and pop the bubbles. So. And then keep um, blowing as much or as little as you need to until um, you can see pretty clearly through the resin. It shouldn't be cloudy and you shouldn't really be able to see any bubbles. Okay, so now we're ready to put our objects in the resin. And we're going to just set them in there and then let that sit overnight. We'll worry about covering it tomorrow once the first layer has set up a little bit. So you can use any anything you have around the house. We found an old miraculous metal. We've attached to a broken rosary and an old prayer card that we cut down to size. We're just going to lay those right, right in the resin. So this will be our the top of our coaster and the words on the back will actually be on the bottom. You won't see them, but you'll see the picture. And then we're going to kind of lay the beads in a sort of border. You can arrange them however you want to, depending on what you have available. And then we'll let that set, and tomorrow we'll finish it up. We're back about 24 hours later, and as you can see, the resin's set up pretty well. Everything's in place, and it's hardened enough so that we can put another coat on top. Um, so we've prepared our resin. Next layer of resin according to the packages. I'm just going to pour that on. Let that fill in the gaps. Depending on how much you have in your mold, if you have beads or metals, you might have to do with, looks like we're going to need a third layer of resin. You might need more. Um, and depending on how thick you want your coaster to be. If you want it a little thicker, you'll want to do a third coat. We'll probably come back 
another 24 hours and do a third coat. But for now, we're going to let that sit and we'll come back in a few minutes. And if you see any bubbles, you're going to want to blow those off. Otherwise, um, you can go ahead and let it sit for 24 hours and do a third coat. So we repeated the pouring and popping process and now our coaster has set up pretty well and it's ready to be taken out of the mold. So we're going to just kind of twist the mold gently until it starts to loosen. It'll start to pop out. You'll be able to just slide it right out. And there's our coaster. Um, it shouldn't be sticky or tacky anywhere. It should completely be set up. If you have some rough edges, you can just use those. Use a little sandpaper on the rough edges. This one looks pretty smooth though. And this is another one we made. Another coaster using the round mold. Um, and that's how you make a Catholic coaster.